Hi, I'm Lisa Guerrero from Plum Summer. Welcome to our premiere. I'll tell you what I love about this film. I love the fact that it's like one of those family films that feels like it came out in like the late 60s or earlier mid 70s. It's like one of those Disney Kurt Russell movies. Not if you're a parent in your 30s or 40s or even your 50s and you want to bring your children or your grandchildren to a film that has like a real throwback retro vibe of like Escape from Witch Mountain or The Bad News Bears or something. I'm happy to be in this movie. I'm happy to be here with Billy. You know? He is unbelievable in you? this movie. He is so good in this movie. The movie is about redemption, actually, and it, his character is redeemed in such a beautiful way. He's so good, and that's the truth. I think that the family dynamics in the film are going to be really important for kids to appreciate. I think it's going to be an opportunity for parents to talk to their kids about their relationship. And so we do deal with real subject matter, but we do it in a really sweet spirited way. This was seriously a curveball thrown at us and it turned out to be great. It basically dropped in our lap and uh, you know you always look for a post career and, and this is uh, quite an amazing way to start off into a, a next possible career. Um, it's really a, uh, the story of the healing of a family, of bonding of brothers, coming of age, and really um, the loss of innocence in a lot of ways and I think that's really kind of perfect because in this day and age um, there's a lot of kids who have lost their innocence because of the culture, and this is a film that really invites them to go back to a simpler time. Okay, here's the question. Are you a director of movies? Yes, she is. And she is so good. She has such a beautiful eye. There is not one special effect in this movie because of her. There's only the explosion of the heart. And that's the truth. I'm from Billings, Montana, where the original frog napping happened. And it happened when I was a little kid, and I didn't recall it. Perhaps I put it out of my mind because it was too painful. In any case, my mother reminded of me of it one day, and I said, you know, that would make a great movie. And it's a true story, and it really happened. And uh, I was really devastated when it happened because he was the star of the show. It was based on true story, first of all, so that's always that's always a plus, and it's really kind of a really good, it's a really good family film, and has a really good message. Well, it was a really good family film. I enjoyed the script a lot. Like my little sister can come see this, and there's not a lot out there these days, so it was fun to be a part of. And there's a lot of great people involved. He laughs a lot, and he's really funny. And he believes in stuff that's not really true. It's funny because in some ways it's like any other day on the set. I'm here to protect my director, keep the actors happy and safe, and make sure that the day goes off without a hitch. Uh, the only difference is I have 700 strangers who are about to come and watch dailies. But other than that, it's fabulous. It's the greatest job in the world, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. We play FBI agents. It's a, it's a period film set in the mid to late 1960s. And these FBI agents travel from some home office, probably in, in uh, Albuquerque, and find themselves exiled to middle Montana. And uh, my character, if I may speak for him, uh, uh, imagines himself to be an untouchable. I mean, Elliot Ness, and is mortified that he's, he's been given this assignment, where uh, Ricky's character, I could, I could move on. <laughs> I play Dirty Pat in the film, a very small part, and the biggest part Frank and Caroline have ever given me. Thanks, you guys. Hey, and I uh, had a great time in Montana, by the way. A lot of great people. We went uh, rafting down the river. It was fantastic. Um, I play probably the uh, local lowlife, uh, one of Billy Baldwin's best friends, but uh, basically he's a bad influence, out of work. And, uh, basically, I didn't really have to act for this one. I had to show up. Oh my gosh, I read the film and it was just taken by it. It's such a heartwarming film. It, uh, it's so, so many uh, great family values are in it. It really is a marvelous film. You laugh, you cry, you feel good at the end of it. Because it's a very beautiful, funny, tender film. So many wonderful people in this movie, and I just feel so blessed to have, you know, been the director of it. This movie, I really hope that everybody, honestly, from 6 to 96, just walks away and says, we all had a great time. That is what a family film is all about. How do you guys want to be here today? Uh, it just looks like a cool, it looks like a cool movie. And an adventurous movie. 
I definitely wanted to see this movie because it's kind of like a mystery kind of thing, like who took, you know, the, the puppet. So I, I love mysteries. So that's one of the main reasons that I came here. You know, the, the era of this film reminds me of when I was a little kid and it kind of took me back, you know, just I could kind of relate just to the kids and what was going on. And uh, I think that, you know, we need more of these kind of films because we grew up with some great films back in the 60s, a lot of the, the Disney stuff and, you know, from uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang to, you know, all the rest. So, you know, it's, it's a great, you know, there's a great place for something like this. And I think it's really well done, too. A Plum Summer opens this Friday at a theater near you.